All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd do a, another update. Um, basically, a few little issues that we've had in the tank. Um, as you can see, everything seems to be okay. Uh, it's growing, but basically, my alk, uh, my calcium, um, was basically it was dropping. It's usually about four forty, four fifty. Um, and I usually test the calcium every, maybe every two weeks or so. Um, so I tested it the other day, and um, it had gone to um, four, about 410, 400. Um, my alkalinity, usually around 9.5. For some reason it had gone to, to, to about 9.8, 10. Um, so obviously I had a few issues um, in the tank, um, not quite sure whether these ones actually contributed to it, but maybe it could. But I think with the heat, what we had, the little heat wave that we had, um, I don't think that helped either. Um, I was putting some frozen water bottles in my sump to just keep it cool because it got to around, I think the hottest it got to was around 30 degrees. Um, so, yeah, pretty hot. So, I don't think the tank liked it. To be truthful, the fish were okay. No signs of stress on the fish. Um, but yeah, a couple of corals suffered. Um, don't think it's really bounced back 100% yet. But um, yeah, just got to keep an eye on it and uh, keep thing, keep looking at all the corals every day and just to make sure. But as you can see, um, they all look pretty decent. Um, this one here though, which was stunning, um, it's completely shredded, it's going, uh, it's peeled away, um, absolutely gutted on that one to be truthful, um, it's really really coming on well, spreading all over the rock and now as you can see it just pees you off because it's uh, it's dead now, but um, these are all the things that happen in in the uh, corals so and then the other part to that which was this one here as you can see it's beginning to shred around the sides so I think that's on its way out as well another gutting thing really but there's nothing I can really do to be truthful um, as for the rest of it it's all they all look okay um, look healthy enough um, like you said, with this, with this hobby, it's the uh, pros and cons, I suppose, of it. Some things do well, some things don't. This green mon Monty plate, as you can see, is beginning to like play out more. Um, the torch coral, we didn't really seem to be bothered. These zoas, they did. And there's still, and as you can see, I've got a little Aptasia just at the back of it. I don't think that's helping. Um, candy canes, everything else, Duncans, mushrooms, everything else seems to be seems to be okay. The green barley slimer, that's coming on really well. No ill, Ill effects on that one. In fact, he seems to be growing the most out of a lot of them. Um, and yeah, so it's very, very strange. This gold uh, Acropora, which usually you'd think the Acroporas would be the first one to go with stress. Uh, polyp extension on that is brilliant. As well as this green one, as you can see, is based all out. And this green, this purple one with the green uh, tentacles, he's based all out. So yeah, very, very strange one, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, Other things going on in the tank was the bristle worm infestation that I had. Uh, I've just made um, a makeshift uh, bristle worm trap. It was out of a Coca-Cola bottle. Um, I seen it on um, one of the YouTube uh, guys. I've forgotten his name now. Um, I was watching it, and uh, I thought, what a good idea! What it was didn't really expect it to work. Drilled some little holes, cut some little holes in the side of the bottle. 
and uh, basically stuck uh, four pieces of plastic tubing just through it and I came down the other day really I should have filmed it I just completely forgotten I was in a bit of a rush to be truthful um, and yeah I, uh, I basically just uh, looked inside and there must have been about seven or eight big um, bristle worms um, yeah they were, they, were, they were fairly big they were at least an inch and a half two inches long long um, some of them was about maybe three inch four inch long so they were huge huge things um, so I had to get them out um, they they went um, as for the other thing that I had was the um, baby starfish don't know about yourselves but I absolutely hate them I've got a um, serpent starfish in my tank very rarely comes out only comes out in the evening on the odd occasion but that's when we're really gone to bed so you don't really see him but um, yeah obviously he, he's had loads and loads and loads of babies and there's hundreds of them and facts I'd say I'd go as far to say there's probably about a thousand in it they're, they're everywhere at night time you see them all over the coral and I actually believe that they irritate them um, some, some of the zoas like this the pink zippers here where you can see they were all on them and look they actually look like they've melted away. Um, Gutty, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, I'd be gutted if it was only, I only had them few in here, but I haven't, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to fish them out as much as I can. People are saying, oh, I'd love them, I'd love them, and by all means, they can have them. Um, it's, they're just a nightmare to be truthful. Uh, I don't like them, don't, especially the baby ones, I just don't like them. The green GSP at the back wall, as you can see, growing really well up on the, uh, the back wall chamber. Um, I'm thinking of, um, I'm gonna get maybe another Monty Porter plate or I might even just snap a piece off this green one here and a piece off the red one. And I'm gonna stick it on the back wall of the, uh, of the tank. Um, and let's see. I've seen them. I've seen them in other people's videos. They look absolutely brilliant. Just uh, stick them maybe in the corner, on the corner there, and let them grow out all the way that side and that side, and then have the green GSP all up there. I think it'll look pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good, really, to be truthful. So I think that's the next uh, plan of attack. Um, but yeah, just a, uh, a quick. Um, look on the tank and the display and a few issues we're having but we'll get there in the end um, going on to the um, sump area it's a bit dark under here um, but as you can see uh, the roll this roll was the one we changed over um, literally on the 21st it was of the 21st of June July um, we changed that over so as you can see it's uh, well over six weeks now so yeah six weeks and I'd say we've probably got about maybe five 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 more days six more days I'd say and then that'll be uh, that'll be up um, I've changed the the uh, bulb in my uh, UV sterilizer changed that the other day I've got a spare one there, which is usually there. Um, yeah, other than that, there's been no real change. Everything, apart from the uh, the points that I've made, uh, everything is fine. So we'll just keep an eye on that. I keep testing, and uh, I'll keep uh, keep you all informed, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you like the uh, the video. If you do, click the like and the subscribe. Uh, if you want to leave any messages, just uh, leave them in the comments below. And I always get back to every one of you. Um, if you can, uh, uh, like I said, um, like the my Instagram page. I'm always on that, um, posting different videos. I'm trialing this new phone out, um, so hopefully I get some even better ones. And I believe it's waterproof, so I might even get some under underwater shots. So, yeah, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and um, I'll speak to you soon.